To look for outliers, we're going to use the 1.5 IQR rule. First, we need to find the IQR, which is the inner quartile range. It's simply quartile 3 minus quartile 1. From the computer output, we see quartile 3 is 36 and quartile 1 is 31. So our inner quartile range is 5. Now if we multiply that times 1.5, we get 1.5 IQR, which happens to be 7.5. Any value that's more than 1.5 IQRs lower than quartile 1, we call a lower outlier. So in this case, quartile 1 is 31. We'll subtract our 1.5 IQR, and we get the cutoff value of 23.5. Looking at our data, it looks like there's two maximum wind gusts that were lower than 23.5, so we have two lower outliers. We don't really know what their values are, although we can see the minimum is 20, so at least one of these is 20. The other one might be 20 as well, or maybe it's 21. Now let's check for upper outliers. Any value 1.5 IQRs greater than quartile 3 is an upper outlier. So quartile 3 is 36, and we'll add 1.5 IQRs, the 7.5, and we get the cutoff value of 43.5 miles per hour. Now this value right here doesn't exceed 43.5, so we don't have any upper outliers. Next we need to interpret the standard deviation. From the computer output we see the standard deviation is 4.416. Standard deviation is a measurement of spread. It shows us how far off we expect a typical observation to be from the mean. So we can say the typical maximum wind gust speed differs from the average maximum wind gust speed by about 4.416 miles per hour. Now anytime you're asked to describe a distribution, remember the acronym SOX. It stands for shape, outlier, center, and spread, but you don't have to describe them in that order. Let's start with the shape. We said the distribution of the maximum wind gust speed for Kahului for the dates of interest has a unimodal and roughly symmetric distribution. So unimodal means it has one peak, which it does. And roughly symmetric means if you were to put a line of symmetry in the middle, it kind of reflects on itself. And I think that fits this distribution. Next, let's describe the center. From the computer output, we have two measures of center, the mean and the median. So let's report both of those. We can say the maximum wind gust speed has a mean of 33.36 and a median of 34 miles per hour. Next, we'll talk about spread. From the computer output, we can calculate the range. The maximum was 43 and the minimum was 20. So that means the range is 23. We also have the standard deviation, which is another measure of spread. Let's report both of them. We can also talk about the minimum and maximum. There was maximum speeds as low as 20 miles per hour, which sounds strange, but it's the daily maximum wind gust speed, and as high as 43 miles per hour. Finally, as we found in Part A, we can talk about the outliers. There are two lower outliers between 20 and 21 miles per hour. This is one of several videos I have on describing distributions of univariate data. Check out this playlist for more.